Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Battle Chasers Night War. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we started um, the Dead Watch on Legendary Difficulty. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Mr. Gazillion, why on earth would you backtrack when we're watching you? And that's only because I'm trying to unlock Aluman's ultimate ability. And while we were looking for Chaldea's th tomb uh, skull here, I guess we missed it the first time around, which is really unfortunate. But we have it now. And... Oops. Okay. Um... What I really want to do now is keep going because we are gonna unlock like uh, we're gonna get like a, tre a treasure cache of uh, a legendary quality once we finish it, and we're pretty much halfway through the dungeon. So I figured it'd be a shame to just kind of give up on it, especially since the equipment we'd get would probably be um, useful still. So hopefully, in this episode, I'll get to uh, do both Caldeus's skull. And Alamon. I did say at the end of the last episode that I would, um, that I would, uh, be looking forward in the re before recording some more, but I kind of like recording like this evening. I'm doing a bunch of videos, and I guess I didn't really feel like wasting a bunch of time playing and not actually making episodes. I do apologize for that lie. I uh, hope you guys can forgive me. Um, but I think we can actually go through this, uh, relatively quickly. Um, we are going to gain some levels. We are gonna actually move forward. I, we are definitely gonna finish that watch this episode. Uh, cause, uh, we are higher, we are higher than, uh, level than what this, um, what this area asks for. So I think we'll be fine. And that'll kill him, most definitely, and maybe we'll even get some over- Oh my god! 3,000! Freaking 3,000! Wow! Wow! Just absolutely bananas. Kinda hoping I gain a level for Calabretto soon, because he is getting low on uh, mana. And we are completely out of... Oh, not completely, but almost out of charges for... There's a problem, it must be quite a while, but at this point, failure is an option. Archbishop Falton. So we, we're we getting all these things. We're getting all these war pieces that we didn't have before, which is kind of odd. Um, because uh, I, I, I was pretty sure that I had gotten all of them when I went through Dead Wash the first time, but... I guess not. Uh, Soul Shard. Here you go. There you go, a little crit there, a little bit of a regen. I think the last time or two we were like basically fighting things individually. So it was a little bit longer. And this is a crafting station, so we're not gonna make anything here. So I'm just gonna keep going. Try and kill the digger first, but I have a feeling he's gonna reveal he's gonna go stealth and hit somebody. Yep, exactly. Um so she's gonna gain a level eventually. Let's just do earthquake, because I really don't feel like wasting a bunch of time defending. So here you go. Oh sure. Um Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I don't really care. There you go. And let's just actually kill him. See? That's what I was talking about. These things aren't particularly difficult, so we're good. And we're gonna level up. I uh, got cannon shot level 2, bunch of upgrades, per pa patient mending. I don't know what that does, but we'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna go check what my perk points are. And we had actually equipped perk points on something. Oh no, we hadn't. We had given, oh yeah, we had given them to this. So we could get emergency protocol now, which would probably be not bad. Increase the overcharge gain from innervating Miz by 50%. This is actually really good. And patient, increase the power of heal over time effects by 40%. So all of our 
regain would be good. Um, but I don't use many abilities. I mean, I do use, I guess, the rain ability a little bit, so that's kind of good. Increase the power of heal over time effect. So will that also include uh, that healing boon thing? Yeah, it's hard to tell. I think I prefer... There you go. I think I prefer putting it here. Oh, nature overcharge rank too. Heals the weakest eye for, 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 for 10 overcharge used. Huh. Well, you look at that. Na oh, we've had it for a while, but nature's wisdom. Double calibrator's will and increase crit chance by 10% and allows heals over time to crit. So we're gonna... We're getting close to that, so that's kind of nice. There's a treasure over here. We have 80% of the map explored. That's good. We're about to step outside here. Oh, it's still not the next one over, though. Is that something? Oh, it is something. From Crown's beloved kingdom, brave in the fight, he keep blah blah blah. What do you do? Valentia, a queen who wants to rule these lands. Carefully, shield. We'll take the shield. Valentia. Oh, wow. Tell me that's good. Not really. Was beloved by her people, and when she passed away, the, she read the shield with her to help protect her in the afterlife. That's actually quite a bit of a downgrade. It's really too bad. The lore behind it is very cool, and unfortunately... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's her defenders, I guess. And there's always oh, two waves. Whew. I guess that's a good thing. I, want, I was trying to do um, Alamon's, like thing on the floor there that he does where if you step on him it deals damage but I wasn't lucky that's actually not so bad that's also not so bad um yeah I'm just gonna do more damage to this thing and since I'm gonna do the small one I might actually kill him uh, I'm gonna fight this guy first I don't want to waste because this is going to deal... Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, that was going to kill him no matter what. 155. Wow. Uh, with 20, we can actually apply Cleansing Rain for relatively cheap. And I hope that's going to last us into the next zone. i actually rather just do this. Cleansing Rain is going to get rid of it. There you go. And I'm going to get to do Devastation here. Now I'm going to do Earthquake. I don't even care. The lore behind that shield was really cool. It's just really unfortunate that... Uh, there you go. We don't have the attack up, but we still get to do regular damage here. And you... Yeah, actually, make sure that Sundered is applied so that he dies. Haste up. That's really not a big deal. Oh, I should have I done haste on the other guy, actually. He's dead with some overkill. Man. He gets attacked twice here. Come on, hurry up. I got other things to do. I've got places to be. Seriously? Well, thankfully, um, the damage is really not that bad. And I'm actually going to do a gut punch on him to kill him. And get the overcharge. There you go. We can probably kill him with Soul Shard. With a crit? <laughs> guarantees. Guarantees that we get it. And does he gain a level here? Oh no, not even close. She does, though. Gravity Punch 3, Perk Guard, blah blah blah, a bunch of stuff. Uh, nothing good here, unfortunately. But we get to move forward. I do want to check her perks, though. She's got four perk points. We could get stamina up, which would be not bad. Critical defense. Um, you know what? I think I'd rather have the critical defense, and now we have Guardian Overcharge Rank 2. 
recovers herself and damage shield is over 55.6 I mean over 10 overcharged use oh okay and what are these things guard 2 reduces damage taken by an additional fifth my god that brings it down to 75% increases the power of damage shields by 40% oh wow these are all super good so I think she might be the next person I want to uh... okay I think she's the next person that I want to have uh, upgrade her, uh, her, uh, her burst. Not burst, but her perk points by buying stuff and selling uh, artifacts. And that's another good thing of rerunning dungeons, is that you get to sell sh artifacts. Oh, wow, knocked out. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Um, I think I want to do a quick heal on this guy. I didn't like that ability at all. And the Shadow Whip. There we go. He's gonna re he's gonna stop himself up, right? Or is he gonna do a haste up? I don't know. Oh no, we're good. She had shield. Oh, he didn't even go through her shield, sucker. Quake Fist. Devastation. And he's out for the count. Let's apply... Sunder. Easy peasy. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. We might have to make this a bit of a bit of a longer episode too. What's in here? Oh yeah, open that. We got Thunderforge pistols and dark leather tunic. Is that any good? No, it's really not. None of these things are good. Work of my work. Da -da -da -da. If I had noted the cases, various, various, blah, blah blah. Make it work. So. Oh, there's a treasure I missed there. I having a hard time understanding whether what I did. Am I getting okay? These lore things. I know there's a good way to find out. Dead watch over here. Oh no, there you go. So I guess there's only a so many lore pieces that can spawn in a dungeon at a time, and so by rerunning these dungeons, you there's a chance you get like others. So we might get a bonus of XP if we find all those books. So there's actually a reason to to hug all the walls yet again. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really not a big deal here. I want to kill the big guy first, and by big guy I mean this thing. He's gonna cast, so we're good to go. Let's apply some Sunder on him. Mr. Gazillion, the Sunderer! I don't know what that was. He's crit. Aww, crit would have been so amazing. Because, yeah, exactly. He does this. I'm gonna use... Oh, wow, I, I haven't used a burst. All dungeon. That's a lie. I think I'm gonna use that purify at one point just with a slight heal. Uh, Shadow Whip, just so you get the kill and the attack up. I think I want. Yeah, I'm gonna do Sunder on him. Just so he has Sunder, but I think I'm gonna make her try and kill that guy. And then you can focus your devastation on this guy, and we're good to go, I think. You think I care about that? You got another thing coming, buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can actually finish him with just this. If you ask me, that was overkill. <laughs> oh, and that was overkill. Holy crap, devastation is good. Now, do I have to talk to it to unlock it? No, I just can't really do anything with it. More creatures here. Oh, it's that big guy. Yeah, I really don't like that at all. Uh, let's do burst, flame slug. <laughs> is, it, is that overkill? Probably. It does ignite all of them, so... 
attack. It doesn't do a lot of damage at all. Oh, got a crit at least. Um, I'm just gonna do earthquake. And you uh, do soul shard. Actually, yeah, I do soul shard. He has an ability that if they're ignited, the monsters, it does more damage. I don't know how many turns they have. Two more turns. I could probably. Ow. Um. I can purify, but instead I'm gonna gut punch. What is she casting again? I forget. Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, he has an ability that if they're ignited, it's a guaranteed crit. If ignite, guaranteed crit. 573 mana. Fit. It's actually kind of worth it. Guaranteed crit it might actually kill him, depending on how much damage it causes. Nope, not even close. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Uh, let's actually try and take this one. I think we might be able to kill him with her here. Ah, I wasn't even close to being enough. Cast. Is he gonna cast Doom? Oh my goodness. Holy crap, we might actually die if he gets... Oh yeah, there you go, he's knocked out. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed by him, but we do have Reincarnate. Let's finish this guy off. He's gonna do something. I don't know what, though. Doom, okay. Not an expensive one, but I think I wanna do... Ow. Oh, yeah, we went ahead and... It's like, I'm just gonna apply Doom on you, since I didn't do it the first time around. Yeah, we're five for removal Doom, that's for sure. And you, well, I guess Sh Soul Shard. And she's doing Quake Fist, I think. Ah, oh, not enough to kill him. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, let's not let him cast Doom, why don't we? Yeah, that was tough. It wasn't supposed to be that tough. And we don't even get rewarded for it. Or at least, barely. Um, oh. Yeah, well, there's some stuff here, so... Bit of money. Oh yeah, there's two boxes with a bit of money. Bone stuff, mushroom stuff. Oh, please hit him. That's really unfortunate. Actually... Hey, come on. getting hit? I don't know. Why am I wasting that much time on him too? He's like a weak monster and he's all by himself. Uh, sometimes I get this zone, into this kind of zone. And... Beast perk unlocked. Dead Watcher. I don't know what that means. Dead Watcher. Hmm. Oh, here's one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see who comes to something. And then blah, blah, blah. Something. Yay! Tome of Lesser Knowledge. Let's equip it. Yay! Do we have anything we can use? Oh, move out of the way. Uh, perks. He's got only one point. One point and one point. So there's no point. <laughs> okay, let's move ahead and fight this guy. I do want that thing. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Sundered. Soul Shard. And Punch. Now, if he casts something big... Nope. Nothing big at all. Oh, I don't think that Ignite's gonna get the time, have the time to deal any damage. 
Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I want that thing. Now gonna be too okay. Well, good news is that that big monster is gonna be all by himself in the next part of this. Nice. And then we're gonna have some overcharge. And we'll be able to start using our big guns right away. In fact, I'm probably going to end up using... Uh, yeah, wave complete. Oh, I can't start with Devastation. That's unfortunate. Well, for him, I... Well, I you know what? Why wouldn't I? It's only 10 mana. I can afford it. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what's annoying about that guy, and hopefully he doesn't start off with Doom. Yep, he does start off with Doom, so I guess I'll have to do a burst then. I really wanted to use my uh, fire slug thing. It does bring us to full health though. Quake Fist. I could have. Oh no, I couldn't. God, we're slow compared to these guys. He's casting the reaping. I can probably do wildfire now. I'll do it. I was kind of afraid of that. But he has regen now because of that. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do a soul thing. Try and deal as much damage as we can for him. Let's do a Quake Fist. I don't even care. And, uh, I guess this. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky? Nope. We really aren't getting lucky. Oh, but Calabretta will finish him off. You don't get to cast the Weeping again! Not on my watch. Uh, you do Devastation. How about you just defend? No, you have a shield on, so... And I really want to do like a heal to everyone, like a guardian song, but he won't have time to cast it. Maybe I can do like a quick... This one's quick. Who could use it? This guy. Oh my goodness, that's a huge... That's a huge regen. Alright, that was another big battle that I didn't super feel like going through with you guys, but we did it anyway. And all garbage. All of it. Eh. Oh. Ah, that's just one of these. There is an event thing here. Oh yeah. And we can teleport, though we don't really need the teleport. I just want to see if there's something here. There isn't. We got the lore. We got pretty much everything, so we can just move on to the next zone. Which is supposed to be this way. Can we find it? Oh, look. I missed something. This whole time. Oh, don't tell me I have to go downstairs somewhere. Oh, where is it? Oh man, I have to go in something? Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh man, I was kind of hoping it was over. Oh, it might be. Is this something else? What is this? That's probably who we're gonna go kill, right? I forget. It's been a while. It's been a few episodes since. Rare parts. But good news, everyone. I feel like that thing was moving by. I think it's just a light 
It's a trick of the light. Oh yeah, I forgot. You also get full mana when we fight the boss. Yeah, I'll do that. And just make sure to upper. Let's just do it once here. How long, how long? Yeah, so it doesn't last all that long. And oh, it's a cutscene. Yeah, we're gonna skip it because we we already we already did that. And how did it go? He revives. The, does he revive? Yeah, he revives the people around him. So there's no point in killing them first, from what I remember. Now I think I want to do nature's boon first. I think, and then I'll do cleansing rain after. And she could probably do Gravity Punch, deal 500 enemies with remaining HP plus 500. Oh, wow. We're gonna do Devastation right away, because we're gonna slow it down, because that's full health. So Gravity Punch, whatever, is a really good one to start with. Look at that. Oh, that actually wasn't that good. Abilities. Oh yeah, any damage dealt to Verima, the Matrax is dealt back to the underlings, I remember. Uh, we're gonna do Cleansing Rain. Oh, wait, no. Nature's Blue. Yeah, we're gonna do this. It's gonna heal us a bit. It's gonna remove all these Ignites that we keep applying on ourselves. And I think Might of Aramis here might be a good thing. I might end up regretting that, but... Oh, that was one crit. Kills those two little guys. Well, he's gonna do devastation again. Uh, what? Okay, so let's re reword grab. Deals five percent of an enemy's remaining HP plus five hundred. Five percent of. So I should have done a thousand damage there. I didn't even get close to dealing that much damage. So let's do Quake Fist, I guess, because it's cheap. And I think I, I should go and heal Amumon, but I think if I do a Gut Punch, we might actually end it right here. Because he Sundered and Gravity. There you go. So he was pretty easy. We knew how to beat him this time. The last time I was killing his underlings on Holy Pauldron, which is something I can sell for probably quite a bit. Impressive. Uh, Truly, I'd say the champion's death was a waste, but... Legendary treasure cache, which is what we did all of this for. And... Dark Onyx Ring. Wow. What a waste of time. Because we already have these. Boy, oh boy. But at least we got an artifact to sell in harm's way. That's a plus, I think. Don't I get to teleport back? Isn't there... Oh, there it is. We got, we made, you know, we made some money, we gained a level, um, you know, we did little things like that, so it wasn't a big waste of time. Now, the teleport's this way, hopefully there's no monsters in our way. Yep, there isn't. <laughs> yep, there isn't. Nope, there isn't, I think. Or nope, there isn't means there is. I don't know. Words, how do they work? English, how do you work? Ah, there you go. We actually do get to do Nolan's ultimate. Why, it's you. You've, did you find the rest of the tome? Of course I did. The thing is, uh, some of the words have been concealed. I haven't seen this particular enchant in a long time. Let me see. Shouldn't be hard to fix. Ah, yes, here. Let me reveal the rest to you. 
Not bad, Mercury. Not bad. So, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like enchanting anything. I do want to rest up, though. What'll it be? I rest. Because I want the HP. And now that we have Caldeus's, uh... Skull. We're gonna go straight to his place. It's gonna make a little bit of longer of episode. I really thought I could do both in one. Um, though, when I said that, I also thought that I would end up just kind of like rushing. Uh, I would rush to the boss off screen and then I would start recording so you guys only saw the boss fight. But that really wasn't worth it and I do apologize for the waste of time. Okay, tell me that I can kill this thing. Oh, wow. I'm glad for the crit. Please tell me you're casting. Yes. Overkill on the regular attack. That's something I like to see. Okay, so Tome of Caldeus. Now, there should be some monsters around here, but I'm pretty sure I killed all of them. And I think there's an enchant bed over here. What does this do again? Oh, no, there's only a specific thing I can add on there. Storm Strike, yeah. A Necromancer's Bane is equipped. And what does that do? 20% chance to increase... If you think that's worth it, it's really not. I think I can add some better enchant on there, like a better crit. Actually, I probably should have done that in town, but we're here. I have a feeling Caldeus might not be that tough. Famous last words. All right, let's see what I can do here. First, let's apply this. Hopefully it sticks with us. We'll add it. As you place the skull down, you get the uncanny feeling that someone is looking over your shoulder. Something comes over you and you lose control of your senses. History has not forgot. Oh wait, who's saying that? The death and lies thou hast wrought. Oh, we're gonna die here, aren't we? And now the dead again shall rise. Oh wait, I think it's Gully speaking, but she's kind of possessed. Lord Calius, your time is nigh! Okay. Um, there we go. We don't have a the Calius. Oh, you dare disturb me! Oh, okay. Well, I think doing a taunt here would actually be worth it. And I am going to do... Nature's Boon. And you, friend, are going to do what exactly? You can't really do anything. Increase the attack of all heroes by 30% for the entire combat or until this... Oh! I think that's worth it. That's a pretty big fight we're up against, I think. And it's appropriate because it's for his upgrade. There you go. And you, friend. You reveal him, please. And you're just going to do it after him. I don't know what he's casting. So you defend. Because he did taunt, so probably not worth it, but whatever. Uh, can you do something else here? Nope, you cannot. Can you remove a debuff? Oh, one debuff from each ally. Okay. Innervating this, because we're not gaining any overcharge currently. Yay! Oh, wow. That actually did not do as much damage as I was, I was worried it would do a lot more, but sure didn't. Uh, we still have taunt. So, just for the fun of it, let's defend. Because with defend, maybe we'll end up... Oh, she's full health. Good. There we go. And you... Oh. You do... Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. That's really annoying that he keeps doing that. So, maybe I should uh, actually add a flask of fire to myself. Where is it? Flame oil. Because now when I'm going to attack, if it ignites him... Is he going to cast first? He might. So let's do this. Ah, uh, we won't get to do defend first. 
Whoops. But I'm going to do Devastation regardless, because no matter what he does, he's probably going to end up doing... I don't have anything left, so let's do Nature's Boon again. Yep, should have had that on before. And I did defend would have been a good thing to have too. So, taunt, because it's gone now. Spine Sheath, I forget what that does. Oh! With the beautiful crit, nice. I love you, my friend. We already have Nature's Boon, so let's just do a healing wave. Actually, let's Sunder him while he's there. <laughs> For the crits, yes! There you go, that's reducing the damage. I could have used the... Well, we still have Taunt, so let's do this. We'll do Devastation while he's visible. We'll do Healing Wave on her. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I defend again. Is this like his secondary form, though? We knocked him out. Is he gonna come back? Okay. Alright, Scalia's twin ambushers. Is that an item we can equip? Oh well, yeah, Monica can use it. Though she doesn't have the level. And then the heart. Is that an artifact? I think it is an artifact. So let's go back to town, I guess. We defeated Caldeus for good. It's weird that Alumon didn't say anything. Sorry, I was trying to see his okay. combat abilities, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back to town, obviously. We'll go back to town, we'll talk to the trainer. And if we get his level three burst, then we'll be good to go, I think. Um, we're still a little behind on levels, I think, personally, because every time we go into a new dungeon, we're always like three levels below the difficulty that they would recommend or whatever. But at least we caught up a little bit. We did gain one level in... in Deadwatch. What's our XP at? And it, our XP is pretty high now, like we're almost going to gain a level. So, there you go. Greetings, and warrior. let's train, so we've done it, and we've got proof of the deed. I had help. Your true combat prowess is now unlocked. Do not hesitate. Don't worry. That's not how I work. I keep forgetting what voice Hello? I give him. Um... Let's keep leave. So, what is his new ability? It is called Doom. Flicks an enemy with Doom dealing... Holy... Crap. That is huge! Yep, going to use that, that's for sure. Right, what do we have here? Sell artifacts, unholy pauldron for 16, not bad. And oh. I guess when we find these in dungeon, we get to sell them after. Uh no, I don't want any of these, obviously. They are never useful. Actually, these ones are pretty okay. Ooh, look at this one. Bonus damage though. Um, these are the ones I want. Ooh, not enough for this, though. Uh, do we have something for Calibretto? Calibretto, Calibretto, Nolan, Alumon, Monica, Minor Tome. Grants a single pergament to a chosen hero. They're ten now. Grants a single pergament to a chosen hero. These ones are on sale. I can buy three. And I won't buy more. So, use this. One, two, three. And he had only one point before, now he has four, right? He has four indeed. Indeedy. Uh, recuperate is good. I mean, all of these are not particularly good, so... I mean, you need, man. Okay, well, for now, what do we... what's good? 
I guess upping his defense is better. And we'll rest up at the end, and I think we're gonna call that one a day. Yeah, have a seat. Rest. I'm friggin' starving too, and the episode is pretty long. So, I am your host, Mr. Gazillion, and as always, thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think of Battle Chasers Night War, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.